assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will study about virtual displacement virtual work done and d'alembert's principle so we will see what is the difference between displacement and virtual displacement and what is work done under virtual displacement and then we will find a generalized expression from virtual work which will be d'alembert's principle so first of all we will see virtual displacement virtual displacement virtual displacements are imaginary displacements so its first property is these are imaginary displacements these displacements are infinitesimal and instantaneous third these are instantaneous so the virtual displacements are imaginary infinitesimal and instantaneous on the other side the real displacements take a finite time for their realization the virtual displacements are given to the system in such a manner that the constraint forces do not do any work so this is the main property for virtual displacement that they do not do any work for in case of constraints so in the presence of constraints virtual displacement do not do do not perform any work on that physical system so now we will see uh, what will be the work done under virtual displacement so the work done under virtual displacement will be virtual work the work done under virtual displacement can be calculated through virtual displacement so for example when a particle is given a virtual displacement by a force then the amount of work done is known as virtual work so suppose fi is the force acting on the ith particle so fi is is a force acting on any ith particle we have system of n particles then this force which is acting on ith particle for a system of n particles can be splitted into two components so this force will be equals to fi external plus fi which is the force due to constraints so fi e is the external force and fi is the force due to constraints since constraints restricts the motion of any body so the constraints reduce the number of independent coordinates so under this force if this force is the total force acting on any uh, system of n particles then we can calculate the work done for any particular displacement if this displacement is virtual displacement so let's suppose delta r i is the virtual displacement then the work done under this virtual displacement will be delta w i so we can write the work done delta w i equals to or curly w i equals to this total force f i into curly r i in substituting the value of this total force this total force is sum of external force plus forces of constraints into curly r i so if we take the 
system of equilibrium let's say the system is in equilibrium position then the total force acting on the particle will be zero so if the total force acting on particle is zero it means we have total work done curly wi equals to fi external force plus force of constraint into delta ri equals to zero so total work will be zero it is also ith force so we can further simplify this expression now from this equation we have two terms work done due to external forces and work done due to forces of constraint so we can see from this equation the work done for the case of forces of constraints if the displacement is virtual displacement then this work done will be zero so we can write fi dot curly ri will be equals to zero work due to forces of constraints curly ri will be equals to zero so now we have single term work due to external forces so work due to external forces curly ri equals to zero so we can sum over all particles the system has n number of particles so summing over all particles from i equals to 1 to n the total work due to external forces will be zero for we consider the virtual displacement for system of n particles this is known as virtual work done and the total virtual work done is zero we can also call this as principle of virtual work the principle of virtual work is applicable to a system in the equilibrium state so we derive it for a system of equilibrium state at equilibrium system in equilibrium state so this equation shows that all the constraint forces which were unknown are eliminated now uh, ideally we can say that external forces sum of all external forces not equals to zero why because since all curly ri which are virtual displacements are not independent so we can state that the total amount of work done by the external forces for virtual displacements for a system of n particles is known as the virtual work and the total virtual work done is zero this is known as virtual work or principle of virtual work now next we will study d lambert's principle d lambert's principle so as for the case of virtual work done we already studied that the virtual work done principle of virtual work is only applicable for system of equilibrium when the system is in equilibrium state but the system may be in the state of motion so for the state of motion what will be the equation so we can convert this principle of virtual work to a more generalized form 
for the case of state of motion which is known as de lambert's principle therefore we need to modify this principle for more generalized system the system may be in equilibrium or the system may be in state of motion so this equation should be generalized for it we will use a newton second law of motion which is f equals to dp over dt for a system of n particles we are considering the ith particle so considering the ith particle and this total force will be equals to as for previous case virtual work this total force will be force due to external forces plus forces of constraints or we can write it as fi pi dot external forces plus forces of constraints or further it will be plus fi minus pi dot equals to 0 for the case of virtual displacements we multiply this with virtual displacement then we can write this equation by minus pi equals to 0 so we will multiply this equation with virtual displacement curly ri on summing for whole system of particles we can add up this equation for i equals to 1 to n fi external force plus forces of constraints minus rate of change of momentum dot curly ri virtual displacement so this force into displacement is the work done uh from this equation we can see that uh, the work done again the work done due to forces of constraints which will be fi dot curly ri will be zero so for the case of virtual displacements the forces of constraints do not do any work that's why we have uh, remaining work done due to external forces so in next step so in next step we have summation summation i equals to 1 to n summing over all particles external force minus rate of change of momentum dot curly r i virtual displacement this equation is known as de lambert's principle this is more general as compared to virtual work the virtual work was applicable only for equilibrium state while this equation is the more generalized form which is applicable which can be applied for a system in motion and this equation states that the particle in the system will be in equilibrium under a force equal to the actual force plus a reverse effective force this reverse effective force is due to momentum momentum of system of particles so this is known as de lambert's principle or in other words uh, we have transformed transform this principle we have transformed this uh, principle into more generalized form that is we transform the principle a virtual principle into an expression involving virtual displacements 
which can be written in terms of generalized coordinates and generalized coordinates are independent coordinates so in next lecture we will study about uh, the generalized coordinate system and uh, related to how the generalized coordinate system gives us number of degrees of freedom of any system and how we can link the simple cartesian coordinates simple cartesian coordinates which are ri to generalized coordinates qi so we can link both coordinates in order to remove constraints and constraints are restrictions on motion so constraints in fact decrease the number of degrees of freedom of any physical system